Hey, what's up guys, Faisal here with our first hour tech video on this channel. Before we begin, let me introduce our channel, Billion Dollar iTech. We will be recording tech reviews, tech unboxing, tech related news every week on this channel. So stay tuned, let's get started. We use desktop, laptops, and PCs on our daily basis. We have heard these numbers many times, Core i3, Core i5, and Core i7, but wait, what are these numbers? We definitely, most of us, we don't know what is the techniques behind these numbers and how they work. We ask our friends, helps, and colleagues most of the times to help us to suggest us which Core i3, Core i5, or Core i7 CPU we should proceed to buy, and mostly we don't get a right answer. So. At the end of this video, you'll be able to know which processor is better for you to proceed to buy a new laptop, new PC, or whatever you like to go on. So let's get started with Core i3 first. Core i3 comes with the basic option with two cores and hyper threading. Hyper threading is a technology which converts your one core into two virtual cores. I will brief you in a separate video about hyper threading. Core i3 chips uh, have a memory size of from 3 to 4 MB of the range. Uh, Core i3 processors don't come with the Turbo Boost technology, Turbo Boost technology which increases your clock speed from lower to high speed. If you're a person who writes essays, blogs, or if you're a blogger, if you're, if you're a person who does a web surfing, then Core i3 is the best option for you to proceed and buy with it. The best part of Core i3 is cheaper and it consumes less power compared to Core i5 and Core i7. I wish I could say it is as simple as Core i5 is better than Core i3 and Core i7 is better than Core i5. Core i5 comes with the two to four cores depending on the desktop or laptop version that you're using. Core i5 has no hyper threading technology on it. But the best part, Core i5 comes with the turbo boost technology which boosts your clock speed, the maximum speed it has the capability. Also, Core i5 chips have 6 MB of cache memory size which is way higher than Core i3. If you are a programmer, web developer or average basis you use photo editing or video editing, either Adobe softwares or Final Cut Pro, consider Core i5 with your average budget is the best option for you to proceed with Core i5 CPUs. The Mighty Core i7 comes with 4 cores and hyper threading which means 4 physical cores equals to 8 virtual cores that can deal with the extreme workload which Intel could ever build. Core i7 also comes with the Turbo Boost technology and don't forget the last but not least the cache memory of Core i7 is also higher than Core i5. Consider to buy if you're an ultimate gamer or 3D rendering or somebody who does professional level or high level of photo and video editing and rendering, I would say go for Core i7. Except the worst part is it's way expensive than Core i5 and Core i3. After watching this video, you must have now better understanding on the core technology behind Core i3, Core i5 and Core i7. So if next time if you go or your friend goes to buy or shop a desktop or laptop CPUs, so you must have a better understanding which one is best for him or you. After breakdown of all these code numbers, that's all these code numbers represent. Good, better, best within a given segment. So depending on what kind of user you are, always look at the features like the clock speed, the cache memory, and also depending on what core technology you're buying. If you find this video informative, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe the channel. And the Urdu version of this video is please click here. For until then, peace.